Let's take a look at the review of your entrance ticket for those of you who need it, um, or just to check your work. On questions one through five, we're just going to substitute our expressions, our numbers, into our problem here. Notice A is two, B is negative three, and C is eight. When you substitute, I really suggest you use parentheses. So on the first one, I have A, which is two, plus three, times c, which is 8. Now remember, when we do this, we're going to multiply first, order of operations. So I have 2 plus 24, because 3 times 8 is 24. And my answer then is 26. Now, let's take a look at the second one. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. I'm going to change colors here so we can tell the difference between our two problems. So a is 2. Whoa, that's really kind of thick. I'm going to make, make this a little bit thinner. So A is 2, B is negative 3, and I'm going to subtract C, which is 8. So then I get 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, minus 8 is negative 14, and there is our solution. Let's take a look at question number 3, kind of along the same lines here. I'm going to say one half of C, but C is 8, so one half of 8 plus B, which is negative 3. So half of 8 is 4, 4 plus a negative 3 is 1, and there is our solution. Let's take a look at uh, number 4. I'm going to make this a little bit thinner so I can go back and see my numbers. So I got 4 times C, so I'll take 4 times 8 minus negative 3. Well, 4 times 8 is 32. When you subtract a negative, we're going to say plus. So plus 3 would be 35. If we take a look at number 5, this is probably one I'm going to spend the most explaining on. We're going to do b to the a power. So b is negative 3. I'm going to raise that to the second power. And I'm going to add C, which is 8. Notice this is where parentheses become important. When I take a negative number and I square it, a negative times a negative is a positive. So I get 9 plus 8, which is 17. Really, I want to talk about how to use this in a calculator. Let me show you the difference on our calculator here. Let me pull up a calculator. Math. I'm looking for my math folder. I just put everything in folders. Okay. Now, when I use negative 3 squared, I want you to see the difference here. You know the answer is 9 right now. So, But it's really what I'm going to talk about is what these look like. If I put in negative 3 without the parentheses, notice it gives me negative 9. Because what the calculator is actually doing is taking negative 1 negative 1. It's multiplying by 3 squared. So that gives us negative 9. But if you put negative 3 in parentheses, then the calculator does it correctly. So it's a case where you have to understand what you're inputting. We should know a negative times a negative is a positive. Now let's go back. I think that's all it is for your entrance ticket, so we'll stop right there for now.